how to perfect your sensitivity, how to find the best sensitivity for you. What's going on, guys? This is Riggs, and thank you so much for tuning in to this highly, highly requested video. Before we jump into it, make sure you guys do me a huge favor and make sure you go ahead and drop a like. And of course, if you have not already, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So sensitivity is by far probably the biggest thing that will make the biggest change on your account, how to truly improve your gameplay and it was one of the top three reasons why you keep dying in the game. In case you missed that video, I'll go ahead and link it up at the top. You can watch that after you finish this video. Now, I get it all the time on the live streams as well as in the comment section to the videos, which is rigs. How do I perfect my sensitivity? And by far, like I said, most people, I don't know if it has to do with like intimidation. I don't know if just people don't want to give it the time that it actually takes uh, to perfect your sensitivity, which is silly because you'll play three to four hours of this game a day, right? You'll dump countless hours into this game, yet even though you don't like where a certain button is, you won't leave it. You just, it, whether it has to do with laziness, stubbornness, maybe a little bit of both, but in case for those of you that happen to be intimidated or that might just not know how to go about it, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a very easy way to dial in your sensitivity. And not only that, but there's an awesome, there's an awesome feature that not a lot of people talk about, which has been added to the training grounds where you can actually practice and fine tune everything. So first and foremost, you're going to want to open up your settings and you're going to want to click on sensitivity. The first thing I highly recommend that you do, or I should say that you shouldn't do, is do not copy anyone's sensitivity. Don't copy mine. Don't copy, you know, your favorite YouTuber, your favorite pro player, what uh, your friends. I say again, another thing I see all the time in the comment section is, you know, rigs, you know, what's the number to, you know, your sensitivity? People asking other streamers, don't do it. There is so many variables to why someone's sensitivity is going to vary from the next. Whether it has to do with the size of the person's hands, whether they're playing thumbs, three finger, four finger, whether they're playing gyro no scope or gyro uh, always on. Um, Again, there's just so many variables, the type of device that you're playing, um, the amount of pressure that you apply, whether you are using a glass screen cover. There's so many things, whether you have a phone case. Again, the list goes on and on and on why you should not copy someone's sensitivity. So that's step number one, find your own sensitivity. So how do you go about doing that? The first thing you want to do is you're going to want to grab an M4. Some people use a 762 uh, to do this, but me personally, I use an M4, especially if you've never really adjusted, real, I mean, really fine tune your sensitivity. Grab an M4, you'll thank me by the end of the video. Pick up the M4, do not put any attachments on it. No comp, do not put a stock, do not put anything on there, just straight up off the ground. Why do we do this? Because Without having any attachments, you know that if you can control that spray, right, whether you have a 3X, whether you have a 4X, a 6X, dial down to 3, uh, the reason why is because if you can control that, then that means once you put a comp on there, once you put a stock on there, once you put a vert grip or a thumb on there, you know that the recoil is going to be that much better. So if you can control an M4, picked up right off the ground, then any attachment is going to enhance. Not to mention, you're not always going to find, at least in the very beginning uh, of your matches, you're not always going to find those perfect attachments. So you don't, want, you don't want to be reliant on, you have to have a comp, you have to have a stock, you have to have uh, you know, a half grip. You don't want to be reliant on having certain attachments in order to control recoil. So again, next thing you want to do, is you have to go scope by scope when you are doing this fam scope by scope now if you are somebody who does not have gyro on okay this is for all of the non gyro players out there you want to go down to where it says this right here where it says ads sensitivity 
On the top it says, affects the sensitivity of the camera when the screen is swiped while firing. Can be used to keep the barrel down. So let's say you have a, let's say you have a 2X on. And let's say you put that 2X and you put it all the way to 300, all right? You're at 300%, 300% sensitivity. The very second that you fire that weapon, that barrel is going to go all the way down to the ground. So clearly that is way, way, way too sensitive. Now, let's say you put it to all the way to the extreme. Let's say it's 1%. What's gonna happen? When you fire that, the barrel is just gonna keep short, it's just gonna keep going up. No matter how hard you pull your thumb down on the screen, you will not be able to control it. It's just gonna keep going up into the air. Um, so clearly, 300's no good. 1% is no good. So what do you do? Now you go ahead and you bring it down to the middle. And then you see how you control it. And it's just, a, and pick up 400 rounds if you have to. But what you do is you do this with every single scope until you have it fine-tuned to the point to where you feel comfortable. You know, you're going to want to be able to have, say you have a 2X, you want to do something that's more realistic. You're going to want to be shooting a target that might be 60 meters out or 70 meters out with that 2X and all those shots are going to be right there on the body. And then you just move up. Once you have the 2X dialed down, then you move to the 3 then you move to the four. And remember, if you have a 6X scope, that when you dial that down to the 3X, that is going to mirror uh, 3X. Not many people, I mean, there are out there, especially gyro players, are going can have actually do a spray with a 6X fully, you know, just dialed. Uh, but if you dial a 6X down to a three, know that your 3X and your 6X, once you dial it down, end up being the same thing, they mirror each other. And it's just a process of going up or down on your sensitivity. Again, it sounds so silly saying it, but it's by far the simplest thing that you can do that nobody gives enough time to. Now, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, it's very, very cool. Something that they added, a feature that they added uh, that again, not a lot of people talk about is the simulation training. So check this out. They have not only throwables training, they have shooting training, but they also have simulation training. You click that and your character will actually run right to the platform. Uh, and then you actually start like a little tutorial simulation and doing this is going to make it uh, to, and you go ahead and click train and you just run through the tutorial and this will be a perfect way um, to, not, to not only dial down your free look and it's truly the perfect way to dial in all of your sensitivities. I wish I knew this feature when I was first learning gyro. I really, really, really wish that this was a feature when the game came out, but it's really cool. And there's also three different difficulties. Difficulty one, difficulty two, and difficulty three, um, and you just run through it. It's super, super cool. I'll go ahead and run through it with you guys while we go ahead and wrap up the video. Uh, but take the time to to do the sensitivity, you guys. If it, if it feels, if something feels like you're having to pull down on your screen too hard, or you're having to tilt your phone down way too hard, uh, depending on the scope you're using, go ahead and lighten up the sensitivity a little bit. Now let's say they, let's say it's the opposite. Let's say it's just it's just way too sensitive where you just barely move your device and your character is basically doing a 360. You need to go ahead and tighten up the sensitivity a little bit. And it's this it's a matter of a process of elimination. I don't want to hear anybody say what's so and so sensitivity unless it is solely to get an idea but as far as blind copy and pasting somebody else's sensitivity, it's the worst advice that you could, it's the worst thing that you could do. Uh, I really hope that this video helped. Again, run through these simulations. They're pretty, pretty cool. Um, you know, tracking the targets. Again, it's great. For those of you that are learning gyro, it is a perfect way uh, where you don't have to drop into an arcade or you don't have to, you know, and, and worry about RNG. 
You don't have to drop into uh, a classic batch and end up losing a bunch of rank like I did when I was learning gyro. You have your KD get run, you know, ran right through the ground. Uh, but tracking these targets, it's really, really cool whether you do it full spray, whether you're tap firing, it's a perfect way and adjusting that sensitivity so it's perfect for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. But until the very next video, this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.